So, uh, I'm outside. What do you know? I'm in New Jersey, Bordentown, New Jersey. And, uh, sun's starting to go down. Figured I'd make a little video. Kind of let you guys know how I've been doing. So, uh, by the way, I, um, I do enjoy a uh, good smoke once in a while. I had a really good cigar down in Florida, and this one is probably as close as it's gotten. It's a Camacho Carrillo. Let's see if it'll focus in on it. Probably not, but anyway, uh, it's C A no C R I O L L O. So it's a really good cigar. It's kind of mellow. Has kind of like a nice mellow taste to it, or whatever. So. Um, Anyway, New Jersey, I, uh, I got my lawn chair out. I finally brought my lawn chair with me, which is something I really wanted to do for a while now. And so uh, we're out here, out back. So the trailer right there with the lights on, that's my trailer. There's Pepper running around. She's having the time of her life, being able to run around a little bit. I can't let her off the leash. She's kind of a rebel. So I'll tell you a story about that. So. When I used to work for Star Turfgrass uh, years ago, um, I that, that's when she rode with me. That's when she first started riding with me. She's been riding with me since she was a little puppy. Maybe about six months old or so. Definitely since then. Maybe maybe less than that. Maybe three months old. So um, she's been riding with me since then. And uh, hold on while I puff on my cigar. I got to keep these things lit at first. So anyway, and I'm not inhaling. I'm just enjoying the smoke. So, I'm not like Obama. Obama said the point was to inhale, which I agree with him when it comes to marijuana. Although I don't do marijuana. So, you can't. Lesson, little teaching moment right now for you. If you smoke marijuana while driving a truck, here's the deal. They will take your license away. If you test positive for it, they will take your license away for three months. Three months. You have to come up with three positive, uh, negative tests for marijuana in that three months time and all of them are random all of them so is it worth it no it's not so would i like to be able to do it yes i would but is it worth it it's not so anyway let me puff on my cigar it's like george burns george burns used to say that um he always knew when he was joking the only time he was joking was when he was puffing on when he told a joke he puff on his cigar and if he wasn't puffing on a cigar, he was being serious. So anyway, um, so, oh, where was I? Okay, so, uh, story about Pepper. Um, so anyway, so she used to ride with me all the time, back when I was, uh, working at Star. And part of the problem that I ran into with her, uh, as far as I was concerned, was when she, when she was younger, she would stay close to the truck. Like, you get her to stay close to the truck, especially in the summertime. It'd be hot. I had a bowl of water for her in the truck all the time. Usually carried some food with me when we went to work. Uh, that way, if she got hungry, she could eat something. And, um, so anyway, so we, um, I used to let her out. And I'd, I'd go down into the field to pick up grass or whatever. I'd let her out. She'd run around. She'd make a couple circles around the truck, you know. And, uh, and then get kind of tired while I was loading the truck. And then she'd get back in the truck. Well, one day, uh, it was kind of cool outside. It was like it is now, like 70 degrees, 70, about 75, 70 degrees, something like that. It was a nice day. I let her out. So she runs around the truck a couple times, and the circle just keeps getting bigger and bigger, right? And I'm just like, ah, uh -huh, that's fine. Uh -huh. Good dog. She always does what I tell her to do. She doesn't. So, hey, you going to sit? Oh, there she is. Oh, good dog. No, okay, you don't like the cigar. Well, whatever. I like the cigar. That's what's important. Anyway. So, you know, I finally get done. I load the forklift back up. All my pallets are strapped down and everything. And I say, hey. Um, you know, I yell at her. Yeah, at her. Hey, Pepper, let's go. Come on. And she kind of stops. She looks back at me real quick. And she's just standing there all four. And she kind of looks. And she goes. And she bolts. She takes off. And, and she was just exploring. And I know what she was doing. That's what dogs do. But I yelled at her. I chased her down in the truck, and I did this, blah, blah, and I swore up and down. I was never going to let her out again. A couple months later, we're there. It's nice to get out. I'm just like, you know, I want to let her out. So I let her out. She makes a couple circles around the truck. The circle starts getting bigger again. Getting bigger, getting bigger. 
getting bigger, right? And uh, circle gets real big and everything, and it's about time to go. And uh, I said, I said, hey, Pepper, time to go. And she stops, looks at me again. Like, nope, fuck you. Took off, you know. And I'm just like, crap, you know. So I, uh, so I, like yelling at her, and I'm just like, I'm not fucking chasing her this time. I'm not gonna do it. Just not gonna do it. So I'm yelling at her, yelling at her. Can't can't get her to, you know, to come back, you know, I was like, like, and I'd heard somewhere that if your dog loves you, if you are having, if you're stressed, if you're showing signs of stress or whatever, um, if you're showing signs of being hurt or whatever, they'll come running back to you. So I laid down on the ground and faked like I was hurt or having a heart attack or something. So I'm laying on the ground like, oh, help me, pepper, ah, eh. you know. And uh, sure enough, she came running back. So I, I reached up, grabbed her by the collar. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that again. So what do I do? <sighs> Puffing on my cigar. So guess. That's right. I let her out again. So I uh, so I let her out and everything. Sure enough, she makes that big old circle and she starts doing it again. And I have to do the same thing. I, say, I had to lay down on the ground and pretend that I was having a heart attack or a stroke or injured or whatever she came running back I grabbed her by the collar and I was like oh, okay like that's you know and this time she was smart about it she knew like that might this might be a trick so it only took her two times but finally I got her close enough she's like sniffing all over me and I reached up and grabbed her by the collar I was like that's it not gonna happen so she's not able to get off the leash when we're out and about like especially right now like check this out so see her now that gentleman over there has his dog out and Pepper here she would love to go play with that dog. But the problem is, she gets in dogs' faces. So I can't let her go over there. As much as I would love to let her go over there, I can't. So, that's what she gets to do right there. She gets to sit on the leash. And look at that dog over there. And hope that maybe one day she'll be able to play with that dog. She won't be able to. So. Now, what have I been doing the last couple of days? Well, not much. I've been taking video. Did some really great stuff. I, um... Actually, it was pretty good. So I managed to make it to Virginia this morning uh, to my drop. Got off of there. A friend of mine said, hey, you got to take the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. I'm like, okay, let's check it out. $43 for the toll to get across the thing. But was it worth it? It was kind of worth it. So I enjoyed it. We, we went across it and everything. I took video of it. It was really foggy. Uh, two tunnels. You're going right across the Chesapeake Bay. Never done it before. Glad to say I did it. So I took video of that. That's going to be uh, in the next scenery video that I'm already working on. Thankfully, because I have the tablet and everything. So I made it up to... Um, that was the only toll I paid today. I made it up here to uh, New Jersey. And uh, I found a, a Petro up here. And I got myself a paid parking spot up near the Fuel Island. And uh, ordered some pizza and had it delivered. It was huge didn't expect it to be as big as it was but it was freaking huge and uh and everything oh and i got this cool picture of a, of a kenworth i'll try to put that in here so you can see it it's got side pipes freaking love side pipes so anyway that's kind of what i've been doing uh we're here i'm gonna go into edison new jersey tomorrow and um drop this gonna try to find a load going somewhere and uh get that load and hopefully um get moving just keep moving just keep making money that's the plan so that's it. You guys know the drill. Keep trying to try it up. See you guys down the road. Even though I puffed on my cigar, that wasn't a joke. <laughs>